The typical testing process for the PVA 1500 products start with de-energizing the system. Then you go to the module or string you're gonna test, hook up the PVA tool, connect the tool to your computer, and you can do a quick analysis right there in the field. You need to have conditions that are good for IV curve testing, usually a radiance of over about five to 700 watts per meter square. We take temperature measurements at the same time so we can compare the measurement in the field to what the manufacturer's measurements are that were done under standard test conditions. After you're done with your testing, you're gonna use the software to analyze the data and we're looking for outliers, things that deviate from a normal IV curve. The nice thing about the software is you can look at all that data you've collected and you can compare like data and see where there are differences. Then you can identify where that issue is and do further troubleshooting if necessary, or even use that data to do module warranty claims. There's a lot of reporting with this software, so customers can use that reporting to send the data to whoever they need to. A lot of times the people doing testing will be operations and maintenance technicians, and they're doing this work for the asset owner. That asset owner is going to want to see the data to ensure that the testing has been done and make sure that their uh, project is producing the amount of energy that they're expecting. The reporting in the, the Solmetric software allows the technicians to transfer that information to the asset owner or really anyone else who wants to see the data.